guys and welcome back to another video and today we have got like a absolutely huge product empties i mean look at this we're going to get through now you will have seen a product empties quite recently that was actually filmed a while ago that was filmed before i went on holiday but due to the halloween content i didn't get a chance to get it up until when i've like come back which was recently um but i've been saving this up for quite a while now and there's actually like makeup products in a box here as well that you can't see so there's plenty to get through this is probably going to be quite a long one i'm going to split them down into categories i think we're going to have like makeup hair care a few different categories like that i do normally do that but i'm going to do it a little bit more structured in this video anyway let's jump straight in and start with makeup so the first one i'm going to talk about i think we'll start with the worst and work our way up to the best so the first product which i just thought was rubbish is the ps um which is like primark and um, volumizing lash impact mascara this costs a pound now obviously for a pound you know it's all right it did the job it did what i needed it to do it was fine just to coat my lashes to put my falsies on top of which is what i needed it for because i forgot to take a mascara when i went to the blog awards but it's not something i would continue to use i definitely couldn't use this on its own and um, it's just not very it says it's volumizing but it just doesn't really do much for me and um, so unfortunately that one was a bit of a disappointment but then i don't know what i really expected for a pound some of their makeup is really good though another disappointing product again is a mascara for me is the max factor false lash effect mascara now i heard so many amazing things about this and you know obviously different things work differently for different people i'm not a big fan of these sort of um, plastic applicators and this just didn't do anything for me and um, it didn't really um, volumize or do much to my lashes um so for that reason it's not something i would repurchase then we've got these are all mascaras funny enough the technic monster lash this was actually quite good um it did the job again it's a plastic applicator so it's not something i'm a big fan of um if i was in a jam and i really needed like a quick mascara i would probably prefer to purchase this over the primark one but it's not something i would rebuy um for the time being i've got other mascaras i prefer to this then i've got a 17 mascara now i do actually really like this this is really nice for bottom lashes the size of it just really gets in there to get your bottom lashes but unfortunately this has been discontinued so even if i wanted to repurchase it i couldn't and um, i did get it as part of a gift set i'm not sure it is one that i would go out and individually purchase and um, but i did like it while i was using it i enjoyed it it did the job it did what i wanted it to do and um, but i've got other mascaras that do more for me than what this one does anyway but there is other 17 products that i'm gutted have been discontinued then another mascara i've been really like trying to use all my mascaras up and um, that i've had open this is the lancome paris hypnose mascara now this really work for me i actually really really like this um it just does something to my lashes it's amazing this is just a little sample size um but i would definitely purchase this in the future it is a little bit pricey so it would probably be something that's like a little bit of a treat to myself or maybe like a stocking filler off dalton it would be something that i could ask for um but it's not something that obviously i would probably go out and repurchase at the moment because i have got other mascaras but it's something i would definitely think about purchasing in the future because i did really like it moving on towards sort of the best products the first one is is the liner feature by bourgeois this is my ultimate like holy grail holy grail liner it's amazing it's the best liquid liner i've used and i've tried a lot because i do do cat wings quite often and um, i've repurchased and repurchased this it's literally on offer all the time and being in for two pound in fact it used to be 2.99 but they're selling it off for two pounds so if you can get your hands on this and you like doing cat liner i definitely recommend it because this is incredible um, and i've actually got a backup of about six in my drawer because i love it that much another product that i actually love so much and i've already repurchased is the brow coat you guys know this is one of my holy grails this actually does have a bit of product left in it but after a while it gets a bit gunky and minging um so that's why i'm getting rid of this one and i've already got a backup and a backup of a backup um because i really really love this product and it just keeps my brows in place all day so this isn't going anywhere <laughs> another product that i like but i do have products that i like better is the pure correcting illuminating glow primer if you want really glowy skin this is amazing it's really nice but i personally do prefer the pixie a little bit more than this and um, i just find that it just applies a little bit nicer onto my skin and um, but this is a really nice primer and if i hadn't have found the pixie one this would definitely be something i would repurchase but for the time being i do prefer my pixie primer i've got the revolution conceal and define now i like this but there is a few little finicky things that i want to talk about for one i don't think you get enough 
product for the money um, it's four pound and you only get 3.4 millilitres where I use the collection and you get six millilitres so you get double for four pound twenty so that's the first thing that I just want to thingy on it's just more that you don't get enough product for your money um, I do really like the product itself there's nothing wrong with it it's a really nice concealer and it is really good and I would probably repurchase it but I would need to purchase it in the bigger tube but then when I work it out I just think the collection one works out better value for money for me and I do actually slightly prefer the collection formula more um, so for that reason this one isn't something that I would repurchase again at the moment God forbid if my collection ever got discontinued then I would move towards this but for the time being this ain't going nowhere. So if I hadn't already said enough about this already, this is the collection Last Imperfection Concealer. Oh my god, it's literally the most amazing concealer ever. It's £4.19, you can't fall off. They've extended their shade range, so they do do quite a wide range of shades now. And I just absolutely love it. It literally just, it's amazing. Like, I can use it to prime my eyelids with, I can just do so much with it. And for that reason, I've already repurchased it because I love it. Now I think we'll move on to hair care products. First products I want to talk about are the Hask Super Fruit Healthy Hair Shampoo and Conditioner which look like this. You can pick these up in Superdrug and I'm pretty sure they do them in Boots now as well. This brand is amazing and it's so underrated. It's actually used. I went to one of their events a little while ago and I got chatting to one of their stylists and, and he was a celebrity stylist and this is actually used in Netflix shows. It's used in films. It was used in the Fast and Furious films. It's used on so many different actors um, and it's such a good price. This one, like I say, is the healthy hair one. So it's got dragon fruit, acai berry, and mangosteen oil. It's such a good value for money. It is a really reasonable price. Um, and it's just a really nice product. I really like this. I've already got some backups of a different type of the hask that I also got gifted at the event. So I'm just weighing up which ones I like better. At the moment, you have seen the ridiculous amount of shampoos and conditioners I have got. Because obviously, I work with quite a lot of hair care brands. Um, so for the time being, I wouldn't repurchase this. But I would definitely in the future, if I run out of um, other ones because I just really like it and it does exactly what it says on the top. The other thing that I want to point out that I do really like about this is the shampoo and conditioner are clearly labelled slightly different colours so you're not going to get them mixed up when you're in the shower. Um, yeah so I really like. Another shampoo and conditioner I've used up are the Coconut Water Shampoo and Conditioner Minis by OGX. I love their brand, they're really nice, they do exactly what like I say they do on the what they say on the tin. They're just really nice products and I have got plenty of other OGX ones to try out so yeah I would definitely repurchase more OGX, not that I need any at the moment. This one is one of my favourites by OGX, this is their shampoo um, in the Argan Oil scent, oh my god it's amazing, oh, it's just absolutely incredible and this just makes my hair feel so good after I've used it um, so when I've used my other OGX up I would definitely look into repurchasing this one I think they do a more intense version of this now as well which I would really like to try I love the OGX um, shampoos and conditioners another product that I have actually already repurchased uh, is the Shea Moisture Fruit Fusion Weightless Texture Spray and this is the um, Tussle and Hold for Fine Wavy Curly Hair now you will have seen when I did my uh, Easy um, heatless curls tutorial I used this and I've literally never stopped using it ever since I have since repurchased it because it's such an amazing product and it's perfect to give you that little bit of volume and texture especially when you're doing like rag curls or anything like that any heatless curls this is the perfect product for that another product that I do actually want to buy a full size version of but I've just got so many products at the moment that I need to get through those first is the Revlon Unique One um, I've used this before and my hairdresser actually uses this on me and I think I got this in a beauty box or something um, and I love this it smells incredible and it just makes your hair feel so amazing so I definitely recommend this to anyone who's looking for like an all-in-one hair treatment because it is incredible they do it in a bigger bottle this like was just to say like a tra uh, a travel size slash sample size and um, but I definitely recommend checking this out there's quite a random assortment here of what I like to call bath products for me all that means is it's like stuff that I store in my bathroom really I'll start with these couple of bubble baths that I've got these are the Asda bubble baths they're the one litre ones I'm sure these are something ridiculous like 40 pence oh my god if you're on a budget and you're looking for a bubble bath or you've got children and you know children love bubble baths I definitely recommend picking these up because you just can't fall off for that price and you always get kids don't you where 
you literally you buy yourself a really nice bubble bath and you go in the bathroom and the view's like half the bubble bath up so these are perfect for that because you're not gonna you know you're not gonna cry about it for 43 pence or something ridiculous i've tried the i think this was like the berry one and then this was magnolia i think um, but these actually are incredible for the price you really can't fall off so i definitely recommend checking these out and they do give you a really nice foamy bubbly bath as well as being a beautiful scent i've then got a couple of sort of like bath salt products the first one i'm going to talk about is the body on demand 20 minute body boost bath prep so this is one of those products where you know you're supposed to put like you're actually supposed to empty the full packet into the bath and it's like supposed to help with bloating and things like that um it, you put it in like a really warm bath and it's supposed to help you like look like you've lost three pounds or something like that and um, i didn't actually use it as that like i didn't use the full bag in one i just like to sprinkle these in my bath along with my bath just because it gives me like it just really relax bath salts really relax me and i did really enjoy it for that um, and i definitely want to check out some of their other products because they've got some really cool i'm sure they've got like unicorn -y, mermaid esque bath salts and things so i do really want to check out some of their other ones i mean this packaging is stunning i mean it's rose gold what more do you want next one i want to talk about is the redox muscle soak bath therapy i always get this for dalton um, and and I end up using it but I love this this is incredible it's a really really finely milled like bath salt and um, but the smell is just really relaxing it really chills you out and it does help to sort of ease the muscles and um, Dalton always uses this because he, he suffers with scoliosis of the spine um, and he tends to use this in his baths and he finds that it works wonders so I definitely definitely will repurchase I wish they did you know how they do all the different radox and um, bubble baths I do wish they did more of like these muscle soaks or like bath salts in like different scents because that would be amazing um, but the I think they only do this one um, but even still this is a really nice one and they're only like a pound so they're a bargain then I've got like a couple of shower gels first one I've got is the being by sanctuary spa hibiscus and coconut water I love the being by sanctuary spa scents they're all absolutely incredible and I think if you're really wanting to treat yourself they're a really nice product at the moment I've got um, the salted caramel and macadamia that I'm going to be using after I've finished this one but in the future I would definitely treat myself um, to one of the other scents because I really really like them I would probably repurchase the macadamia one because it's my favourite and um, it's like that really sweet salty um, it's like a balance between sweet and salty but oh, it's amazing I love it um, so I definitely repurchase more being by Sanctuary Spa products I love them another product I've used up is the PS shower jelly in the vanilla and brown sugar I got this in the sale for 50 pence from Primark this was really lovely it was an amazing scent I really liked it shower jellies are quite difficult to work with um, so they're not necessarily something that I would think about repurchasing in the future I would definitely buy them if they were on sale or something like that because you can't fall off for the price um, and it did last me quite a while um, but it's not something I would go out and pay like full price for then I've got the Soper Duper body wash and it's the rich and creamy sheer butter one I was really looking forward to try this the scent's incredible it's not foamy enough for me and um, I know it is like a creamy one but I do like to have a little bit of like foam you know to like sort of scrub but I found this was very creamy and there wasn't much foam at all um, I would definitely try other products still from their range but I wouldn't buy this one again because I just found that it just didn't foam enough for me but you know everyone eats their own some people don't like that so just one of them things isn't it I've then got a couple of toothpastes the first one I've got is the Arm & Hammer Simply Natural this is perfect for travel it's just a little travel size one there is other toothpaste but I do prefer more than this but this is handy for travel the Arm & Hammer ones always like leave your breath, breath really nice and clean if you don't like that sort of bicarby thing you probably won't like this because it does they do normally have bicarb in their um yeah they do they always have bicarb in their toothpaste to give that you know like whitening effect it doesn't really bother me um, but i know some people wouldn't like it for that reason moving on i've got the pearl drops specialist white luminous bright shine this was like a bright pink toothpaste and i actually really enjoyed this I actually really enjoyed this i found that it left my breath and my mouth really nice and clean and I just felt like my teeth I don't know my teeth do feel a little bit whiter since I've started using this so I definitely want to try more pearl drops 
pearl drops products or if not i would repurchase this one in the future because i did really like it i've got like a few like random things i'm not sure where to put so i've got a shave cream by the friction free shave company this is holy grail for me i absolutely love it i don't get any irritation or anything like that when i use it it's just such an absolutely amazing product and um, it's got manuka honey shea butter and coconut oil if you get sensitive when you shave i definitely recommend you check this out and i do need to go on and repurchase this because i literally cannot live without it when i shave it's even my legs get so itchy and like i just need something to stop me from itching because i hate scratching it's just not good is it this product is amazing for also after you shave this is the sas perfect me intimate perfect skin concentrate now i'm not sure if they make this anymore because i got a few bottles when they were discontinuing it in boots they might still do it but just not sell it in boots anymore i hope to god they do because when i run out of the ones that i've already got i need to buy some more basically this is good for ingrown hairs you can put it in intimate areas when you've shaved like obviously just rub it into that area armpits legs anything like that and you will not get itchy it prevents ingrown hairs it's incredible i literally use it every time i shave um and i i keep up with it so like if i've shaved everywhere i do keep up with it for like a week or so after i've shaved and it just stops that itchiness it stops you know what i mean like oh it stops all of that it's incredible um but like i say you'll have to see whether this is being discontinued or not if you do do suffer with that sort of you know irritation because not everyone does um i do really badly get irritated i've got quite sensitive skin i think really great incredible then i've got a couple of like random like deodorant fragrancy things i've got the mitchum triple defense order shower fresh deodorant now i know i always go oh it's a deodorant like it does the job this surprised me actually because i used it like laura was like try that it's amazing so i got it when it was on offer and i was like yeah it does the job i had a little bit of an issue with the spray nozzle oh there might be a bit left in here actually I had a bit of an issue with the spray nozzle. Apart from that, you know, I was like, yeah, it's a good deodorant. It does the job. And then, you know, I love Shewer, but I went back to using Shewer. And honestly, I miss this. And I, can't, I never ever thought I would say that because I didn't think that this did that much of a diff. Like, you know, I didn't, there wasn't much difference. But I've noticed this keeps me less sweaty for longer than the Shewer one, which I hate to say because I do actually like Shewer, but... I need to get some more of this. When my shoe has run out, I'm going to I'm gonna buy this again. Like, it's incredible. Um, it, it, it says 48 hour protection and, like, I never, ever had to top up or anything like that. Where the shoe will want, I get so far through the day and I feel like, ooh, I need some spray. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, really recommend this one. And I have finally used up my River Island fragrance, my perfume. Um, I've managed to get through it. I loved this and I actually would try more River Island perfumes. This smelled exactly like the um, Soap and Glory original fragrance. So for that reason, I would definitely check out other like fragrances. I don't need any at the moment, but it was good. And I've got a Sanex, Sanex roll-on deodorant. I used to do like a double barrier thing. I still do it a little bit. But with this, I don't need that double barrier, which is incredible. So if I get the Mitchum, I probably won't need to repurchase this. But if you are in the market for a roll-on deodorant, the Sanex ones are incredible and they do keep you dry for a very long time. Right, guys. Then we've got, last but not least, skincare product. First product I'm going to talk about is this Cosmetic Derm Micellar Cleansing Water for Sensitive Skin. I really like this. I got this from Tesco. They were selling it off. I'm not sure. It's a Spanish brand. I'm not sure where you can get it from anymore. This was really good. I did get a little bit of stinging, but nothing like major. And I actually really liked it because it was really effective in removing my makeup. And for the price I paid for this big bottle, I think I paid something ridiculous, like 50p. This was really good and I would definitely try and like find it and repurchase it again because I really enjoyed it. Another makeup remover I want to talk about is the number no. 7 Beautiful Skin Makeup Remover. I have a love-hate relationship with this. I really like it and it's amazing for removing makeup. Like literally you don't need a lot of it. But then I do find it leaves that little bit... Do you ever get that where it leaves a bit of a residue on your skin? I do find that it leaves a bit of a residue on my skin. I don't know whether I like that or not. So I go from between... Like, I get bought this quite a lot. Like, Lisa buys me this because she swears by it. So I go from, like love hate love hate like i love how it removes my makeup but i hate the fact it leaves that 
film on my face. I'm not going to repurchase this at the moment. One that actually did really impress me is the Sanctuary Spa Foaming Micellar Cleansing Water. I absolutely loved this. This was absolutely incredible. Um, it blew me out the water. I thought it was really, really good. It just helped to, it really did dissolve all of like the makeup off my face. Um, and to be quite honest, on days where I didn't double cleanse, I didn't feel like oh my god I need to do you know what I mean like I did feel like it did a good enough job on its own and um, so definitely recommend this one again something that I'm not sure whether like I don't know how I feel about this these are the nip fab glycolic fix night pads now I have tried lo like a few other nip fab products I've tried a couple of their makeup things and their skincare and there's some things that I do really love these I'm on the fence about. So these are like a glycolic um, pad, a little bit like Glow Tonic by Pixie, which I absolutely love. I'm just not sure these are as effective as the Glow Peel pads that I use by Pixie. So I think that's where I'm on the fence. I think if you're on a little bit of a budget, these are perfect for that. But for me, if I want something that's a little bit more effective, I do prefer the Pixie ones. So for the time being, these aren't something I would repurchase. But I do, I tried their glycolic scrub and it was incredible. So I do want to try some of their other skincare. But probably won't buy these ones again. Then we've got a few um, skincare, a few face, a few, what are these called? Face wipes. My brain went blank there. I love the Micellar Wipes by Primark. I couldn't find these last time I went in Primark. I don't know whether they've discontinued them or changed the packaging. If you use these and you know what's going on with them, then please let me know because I do really want to get these. You get two packs for a pound. I only ever use them really for swatches and things. And when I'm being lazy, like I'm coming from a night out and I stumble into bed, still take my makeup off. Even though I use a wipe, it's better than leaving it on. Um, so... I need these in my life again. <laughs> these ones I really didn't like from Primark. These are the deep clean cleansing wipes. I found these irritating my skin a little bit. I did come out a little bit red and blotchy. So maybe they were just a little bit too intense for me. Um, so for that reason they're not something I would repurchase. And then I tried the Asda wipes. I tried a couple of different types. The kind and gentle and the fresh and clean. These are really good value for money. Can't fall off if you just use them for, to remove swatches. I don't find them very effective for makeup removal. Um, they were like, they didn't make me break out or anything or irritate my skin. I just didn't think they were that effective. Um, but what more do you want for the money? I mean, they're perfect for us guys that tend to swatch all up our arms everywhere like that. But they're not something I would probably use to remove makeup. Last but not least, we have got a bundle full of face masks. So the first face mask I want to talk about is the Collagen Hydrodel Mask by um, Skin Republic. I use this while on the plane going to Salu amazing kept my skin hydrated absolutely incredible they are a bit more pricey you do pay for more for the skin republic masks but you pay for what you get and they're definitely worth buying another skin republic mask that i really loved is the prep and glow and this is their um collaboration with olivia buckland from love island this gives you really lovely glowy skin i used this to prep my skin before i went out for the blog awards and it just gave me that little bit of extra glow and i just i really enjoyed it then i've got a couple of masks from freeman first this one I've got is the detoxifying charcoal and black sugar mud mask. I really enjoyed this one and um, I did find that it really helped to clear up my skin. I got a little bit congested here last week and I used it, um, I think it was, I used it a day, missed a day and then used it again. I do tend to do that with masks because I get, I can get two to three uses depending on whether I'm using it on my full face or whatever out of one of these sashes and I would definitely, definitely get this one again. I really, really enjoyed it. One that I wasn't so keen on, it was more just the formula, was the um, polishing gel mask and scrub. I found this really hard to spread on my face. Um, I just didn't really understand the, like, I don't know, it was a weird consistency. So I wasn't a big fan of this one, but I do love the other one. Another one that was really nice is the Freeman Brightening Seaweed and Pearl Sheet Mask. I used this while on holiday to give my um, skin a little bit of extra prep. I put it in the fridge. Oh my God, it was freezing, like, on my face. But it was really, really nice, and I really enjoyed it, and it did give my skin a little bit of a brighter appearance. I loved these. These are the Soap and Glory Puffy Eye Attack Under Eye Brightening Hydrogel Patches. Christ, say that 10 times fast. Um, these were incredible. I really, really enjoyed them. Um, and they just really helped to depuff and sort of moisturise that really sensitive area under the eye. Masquerade masks. 
incredible this is the detox diva one really enjoyed this this helped my skin when i was like again congested a little bit i always get congested here so i do tend to find i need to do masks quite often um and yeah really enjoyed it really did you know it does what it, they, they do what they sell in the tub you pay extra for them but they do what they say and i've got an anatomical look you've got chocolate all over your face and anti-stress face mask this was nice it did the job I didn't notice anything like sort of blow, you know what I mean? It didn't do anything to blow me out of the water. Some of the other ones were a little bit more effective for me. I do have other masks of theirs that I really want to try because, you know, not like I say, not everything works for everything, some for everyone. Some things work better for others than other things do, do you know what I mean? So I definitely want to try more of their products. Anyway, guys, that was a really long video. I felt like I was yapping on forever there. Um, but sometimes it's nice to really let those product empties build up. Um, it gives you like a sort of a better insight into what I've been using so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have make sure you give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i shall see you in the next one Mwah. thanks for watching